Welcome, friends from over the world. Today we start series six. Can you imagine series six of We Are One? Thank you for being with us. This is this has been such a wonderful journey, and we're pleased to have Jill Pasquinelli with us to share her wisdom, love, and presence with us. Welcome, Jill. Thank you so much, Ale. It's such a pleasure to be with you always. And thank you to everyone here. I'm so happy that we're together. Um, this is such an amazing time right now. You know, we're living with a lot of uncertainty, a lot of unknowns. And, you know, not just the pandemic, but many countries are suffering. Um, there's so much going on in the world. It's, it's hard to keep up with it sometimes. But I think most people are feeling fear on some level. And so today we're going to work with our fourth depth and the 23. We have a very important election coming up in the United States, as I'm sure you all know, next week. And so this has been really helpful for me. And I think I'm hoping it'll be helpful for all of us. And so fourth depth is the element of water and it's the attitude of fear. And when fourth depth is in harmony, we are being in the flow and we are allowing life to flow through us. So um, out of harmony, there can be a lot of mental confusion, depression, perfectionism, and perfectionism. What's that quote? Um, Perfection is the enemy of the good. <laughs> and, and criticism. So fourth depth is also very, very important for harmonizing the bone marrow, for harmonizing the immune system, and it helps to strengthen our adrenals. We have one safety energy lock in fourth depth. So that's pretty extraordinary. And you know that since we only have one safety energy lock, it's a pretty important safety energy lock. And that is our 23. And so 23, Ale, can I have the first slide? Thank you. <clears throat> so 23 is located at the bottom ribs. Okay, so the bottom rib. You go to the bottom rib, the 12th rib, which is the floating rib, and you follow that around to the back. All right, that's your 20, 23. And 23 is for proper circulation of blood, thoughts, and feelings. So can you hold your 23s right now? And we'll drop our shoulders. It's a little bit above the small of the back. And we'll exhale. 23s help us to be true to ourself and also to hold our own space, which is really important. So no matter what's going on in my own inner world or in the outer world, being able to stay in my own space is very important being able to be centered. 23 is clear our sinuses. So if you have sinus issues or you wake up in the morning and you have a stuffy nose before you get out of bed, just slip your hands around to your 23s and it really helps to clear the sinuses. 23s helps our brain to function clear thinking, the adrenals. And very important for fatigue. 
daily fatigue, chronic fatigue, all of those situations. So we'll just breathe together. You can also hold, if this is hard for you to reach around, you can hold your left 23 and your right high one. <clears throat> the high one is inside the knee. I don't think we can see it, let's see here inside the knee about three inches up that's the high one so 23 and opposite high one is another option and another option is 23 my right hand going on my left 23 and my left hand going on the left 15 the 15 is the crease of the leg here, close to the pubic bone. Okay. <clears throat> so we have a couple of options. Yes, Jill. One yes. person is saying that she's not able to reach the 23s, which is the finger. The index finger. The index finger? The index Thank finger. You. We're actually, after we hold our 23s here, we're going to do a finger sequence for fourth depth. Ah, just breathe. See if you can allow life to flow through you. Notice any places that you might feel resistance or effort or pain. And just breathe into it. A nice, easy breath, no forcing. Just simply resting in the breath. Mary called the 23 the policeman of the body and also the janitor. 23 is a big cleaner, helps us to get rid of toxicity, helps us to clean everything, the body, the mind. It's for any immune system need. So it's a big immune helper. It's for all blood conditions, leukemia, lupus, uh, all of those kinds of things, diabetes, hypoglycemia, any blood condition. And 23 is key for any kind of infection. So you see it, it really, it's good for anything and everything. It's a very strong support for our immune system. Jill? Yes. We have a question here. <laughs> yes. If, if we're using the same, is it the same size, size 23, with the other hand on the same side 15? Yes. Is that right? That's correct. Yes. So we're not crossing. No. Well, we're crossing the right hand goes to the oh. left 23. Okay, so the la the right hand goes to the left 23. Yes, and the left hand goes to the left 15. Oh, both hands are on the yes, same side. Close to the pubic bone. And Thank if you. it's not comfortable to have your palm on the 23, you can turn your hand around and have the back of the hand on the opposite 23. <clears throat> so I've given you a couple of options for self-help 
23 is the controller of my destiny. The controller of my destiny. It helps us to erase our past and our future so we can be and we can live in the now. Again, 23 is you go to the bottom rib in the front, thoracic vertebra 12, it's the floating rib, and you follow that right around to the back. That's where our 23 is located. So 23 helps us with all chemical balance, all glandular balance. As I've said, you know, uh, the adrenals, so all fatigue conditions, fibromyalgia also. And 23 helps us to focus. Twenty-three helps us to develop compassion, patience, and gentleness. Euripides said, courage is to bear unflinchingly that which heaven sends. I love that. Courage is to bear unflinchingly that which heaven sends. So 23 helps us with our cynicism, and cynicism is born of disappointment. And any time we have disappointment or trauma, it affects the 23s. So 23s are for trauma. Jill? Yes. Would you please, uh, some people are still confused with the hands. Could you please show again <clears throat> the first option, sure. both hands on the 23s, right? Yes, yes. So could you show that for us? Sure. So, so I'm finding, <clears throat> excuse me, my bottom rib right here, my 12th floating rib, go down to that bottom rib and... I'm going to go around to the back, and here's where my 23 is. The lower back is here. It's a little bit above that. And in fact, my thumb is along that last rib. <laughs> Wonderful. So, uh, and about the 23 in the high one? Yes. So the left 23... And the opposite high one, the high one is located, so the right, okay, located on the inside of the knee, okay? Here's the one. You go up about three inches, and this is the high one. So we have 23, left 23, and right high one. And in this case, we are not crossing... <laughs> the hands in no, this option. we're not crossing the hands. Wonderful. Three <laughs> options. And four, if we have the little, if we have <laughs> the index finger as well. Right. And, and then we'll do a finger sequence as well. <laughs> it's such an important safety energy lock that you have a lot of options. Wonderful. And I wanted to give them all to you. I thought about really doing just one or two. But I thought, you know, I love all of them. And and we can have them all, so. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful, thank you. Yeah. The other thing about fourth depth N23 is if we're taking medication, it helps the medication to be more efficient. And it also helps us to get rid of what we don't need so that we're not building up toxicity in the body. So, um, I've worked with a lot of people who 
go through or going through chemotherapy. And one thing that that is extraordinary is that they do very well. They don't usually get sick. They they tolerate the chemo much better. So that goes for any kind of medication at all. If you have to take medication that it's very helpful. So it's it you know fourth depth 23 is good for getting rid of toxic tos, toxicity in the body from anything. Helps us to clean the body. So now I'd like to go to Ellie, can I have the next slide? We're going to work with the left uh, hand. So this is harmonizing our fourth depth. And we're first going to hold our left thumb, wrapping our right fingers and thumb around the left thumb. So this is the finger sequence for fear. and fourth depth, all of the things that I've been talking about. So drop your shoulders and just relax, let go. The thumb is our first step, and it has to do with worry, anxiety. Worry and anxiety usually have to do with the future. We're thinking in the future. <clears throat> so this will help us to calm down, give us a sense of peace, and be in the now, be in this breath. And next, we're going to hold our left index finger with our right fingers and thumb. And this is the finger for fourth depth, for fear. So everything that I mentioned about fourth depth, this finger will help with. the element of water. Water is moving, flowing. And the thumb, by the way, is the element of earth, helps us to be grounded. Next, we'll move to our left little finger, wrapping our right thumb and fingers around the left little finger. And the little finger is our fifth depth. The element of fire.
And the attitude of fifth depth is try to a lot of effort, a lot of pushing through life rather than allowing. And in balance, it's effortless reality. We can be in the flow. So you start to see why all of these are important for this fourth depth sequence. And just notice your breath. Are you breathing easier, deeper? Next, we'll go to our right thumb holding our right thumb with our left fingers and thumb. So the left side has to do with the past. We're harmonizing the past, the energy of generation. The right side has to do with now. We're harmonizing right now, the present situation. Me, today, here, now. You notice a difference between the two sides. Just be in awareness, just noticing nothing to change, nothing to do. Just be. It's so nice being here together with you and practicing this together. I'm very grateful that we have each other. Moving to our right index finger, holding it with our left thumb and fingers. Again, this is our fourth depth. Fourth depth helps us to have courage. It helps us to keep going rather than stopping. Fear stops us. It actually slows down the atoms. So fear literally stops us. But courage allows us to keep going, put one foot in front of the other. We have this breath, we have this day, and we keep going. And we have each other. And then our little finger, all that effort, all that try to, it's exhausting. Let's put it down. Let's just be in the moment. In the moment, there's so much space. There are so many gifts to receive, being in the present. So many things coming towards you. So I want to thank you all. Thank you for being here together.
with me today. Ale, thank you so much. Um, you are a rock star. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm just thank the messenger. You. I help <laughs> to arrive to people, and that's my deep, deep pleasure, joy, uh, it's gratitude. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. So, Joe, oh. when we are holding the fingers, can yes. we stay longer, for example? Oh, yes, yes, um, of, of course. You can stay, you know, I recommend when you're holding the fingers at least three to five minutes per finger. You know, today, because I, I uh, wanted to give you the self-help for 23 as well, we went through it more quickly. But to really be with it, to really practice the meditation, three to five minutes for each finger. Yes. Wonderful. And now yeah. that we are ones are on Mondays and Wednesdays, you in your home, in your on time, you can try all these options. We had four yes. options for you. <laughs> yes. And, and by the way, um, you don't have to stop at five minutes. You can do, I, I one time was in the symphony and I was going through my fingers and I, I held my ring finger and I didn't want to leave. And I stayed there for an hour. It was just what I needed. So just, you know, if you tune in, you'll know, you'll know. Wonderful. Yeah. How wonderful. This is an art, not a thing. <laughs> it How is wonderful. an art. It is an art. And it's an experiential art. It's now know myself. So these are for you to play with, to experience, to experiment with and become, as Mary said, your own testimony. Exactly. Yes. So, Jill, thank you so much for being with us. And we'll yes. be back for another session of We Are One Series 6. Can you imagine? Yes, <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> also, I, I wanted to mention that I'm teaching a class this weekend. Oh, yes. For, it's the fundamentals of Jin Shin Jitsu. How wonderful. And it's for beginners. Um, I actually created it really for the, the people from We Are One who don't really have any understanding or background in Jin Shin Jitsu. So it's three hours on Saturday, three hours on Sunday. And it's really the foundation and the principles of Jin Shin Jitsu. So. Um, How wonderful, Jill. And I'm, I'm adding to the chat the link to Jin Shin Jitsu's website where people Great. can get more information about your upcoming class. Wonderful. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. All right, everyone. And we are all beginners in a certain way, right? Because um, I think that every day that we are here listening yes. to you yes. and all the teachers, we are like, oh, I think I never heard that that way before. <laughs> yes, exactly. We are all beginners every day. We're all beginners. Yeah. So For thank sure. you very much. Thank you, Ale. Thank you, everyone. Be well, be safe, take good care. Exactly. See you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.